Okay, you guys, so let's continue with the decks. So you guys have been on it, consistent. It's only right if I be consistent with you guys. My name is India. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be exploring, continue, season two, Dexter, season two, episode one. Let's go. I'm here for it. Let's see how they play it out. Um, no recap, but we know the last episode, Dexter is, he's more into finding out what happened to him. His dad, his mom his brother that passed away that he killed it was only i guess he felt was right um like he said the only person that would really accept him for who he is because he's he's the same same bloodline same what he does for a living killer and yeah like i said it's the bad brother and the good brother and we justify it is because he don't kill the innocent he kills the people that does crimes and kill people and his brother kills the innocent and he killed the innocent just to get his brother's attention and i felt like that was just so messy it could have went it could have went it could have went a different way lord jesus but it didn't um it didn't it didn't it didn't so let's continue on to season two are we gonna talk about it or ignore it let's see how they deliver it let's go put your opinions down below let's see it through my eyes and it's going to happen again and again it has to happen he is still following us. I'm coiled and ready to strike. Loose arm swing. Loose. Got it. Yeah, and keep your mind limber. And that entire time, I haven't had a single night to myself. Sergeant Dokes makes sure of that. My best hope of losing him is to act relentlessly normal. Oh, yeah. What's really disturbing is that I'm good at it. You pictured it, didn't you? It's all about energy and interconnectedness. I mean, we gotta think positive. Angel lost realize. someone, too when his wife left him. And we just gotta direct it to manifest what we want. Manifest it. Okay? It's all right. With dokes tailing me, my life's been all Jekyll and no Hyde. No moonlit play dates, no late night social calls. Did you even take my advice, Hosea? I'm telling you, the universe can be very generous. It certainly can. Oh, no shoot. What do you need? Curse someone. Death so curse. the door. Money I'm not a tourist. I need a petrol curse, and I heard you were the best. All he needed was a little money. Oh, oh, he is it. Mm, he is it. What is happening? He's stuck. Favorite part's kind of ruined here. See, this is where I normally show you the innocent people you killed. You kill them. I cast them. Mm. <gasps> what? What was that? Just the next part of the ritual. I am the one with the power in his hands. What? And I burned it off. Yeah. How'd you poison them? And I did it. Thank you, Jimmy. My ritual's almost complete. Long time for this. I really needed it. Yeah, it's been like going on two months. Come on. He don't. He lets him free. Let that be a lesson to you. I've always enjoyed okay. my work. I come here to dump bodies, not beer bottles. Now I'm just a litter bug. Really? Bowling. Kind of late for bowling. Kind of not looking for your opinion. What I meant was, whenever you're ready to be on your own, I'll help you with the transition. That's all. Night. It's your turn on the couch. Could you at least pick up your... Oh, did you see that? That's nice shooting, Dex. Bullshit. You're in control of your urges, not the other way around. I'll drop you off at home. Give me the gun. No! Not, did he shoot his dad? I followed the code. The stock was good. I'm just a little rusty since killing my brother. Thanks for supporting the bowling team. Uh, Fuck you. Where's my blood report on the Maynard victim? Yeah. But in ten years, you've never rented a single porn title. Really? It is harassment in some circles. Report him. <laughs> I could think of easier solutions. He's gonna kill you. Ooh, he better not. Nice tips. Okay, all right, move along. Nothing to see here. Just another fucking day at work. She needs a hug. Oh, yeah. I want you to take jokes and a support team and take Morgan. I want to get her back out in the field today. She could melt down, freak out. She hugged me. She don't hug. Put dokes with Batista. Oh, wants to put up with that. You don't like roses? Allergies. Okay. I always get the ass end. Here you go, Sergeant. 
I can make out beveled margins. A machete did okay. this. Oh. Let's make sure we check the dock slips for criminal records. Freeway exit ramps just a block away. Got a point. <sighs> You're supposed to preserve the crime scene, asshole. What time did you find the body? Seven o'clock. I start prepping the banana boat every morning at seven o'clock. She was in the paper. Please she don't do this. Hot. Please Did you don't see do anyone this. else out here this morning? No, not this morning. I'm in my brochure. Yo, Mrs. Ice Truck, you want to be called that. Can I pass these out now? And she does it. Thank you. And she really wanted to slap. Sergeant! Oh, 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 God damn it, morning grabber! <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucking crime scene. That's a son. Her son. She wants you to find little Chino and kill him like a dog. And he will. The next stop on Matchy the Matchbook's magical journey down the rainbow path is the gooey nightmare named Gloppy who I'm turns like children into fudgicles and eats them up. Cool staff. Cool story, Dad. But next time, can you play the actual game? All right, say goodbye to your father. Jump, jump. All right, go away by the door. I need your help. My lawyer's going to file my appeal. Evidence to support the fact that I was set up. It's a federal prison. Hardcore, I don't belong here. No, she just, can, can we say she just turned into a petty baby mama? Because, yeah, we seen that she found a shoe and we know what really happened. And if he's being hurt in prison and he really didn't do the drugs, which he didn't, he didn't. And she doesn't help him get out all because she doesn't want him involved into their life anymore. But he's, he's involved no matter what. She's taking the kids for visits. But she wants it. She wants it under her control. Her, but she wants it under her her control. You know, her time, her control. We're at in a facility around a lot of police officers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we have to see how it plays out. That girl's gonna need more than crayons to make her world right. Killing little Chino could restore my world too. Been benched. Gord is just jealous the ice truck killer fucked me instead of her. We think by Chino himself. Now people are just too afraid Where to come they? forward. They are not protected. Right this way. I like it, Picasso. <laughs> He's a killer. No, no. Finger on the trigger, unless you're shooting. Let me feel. Your heart. I feel what? Your heart. Let me see how scared he was. A no. challenge. A mountain to climb. That little Chino picked up your son on the night of his death. I uh, heard we captured Bigfoot. Yeah. Then answer my fucking question, Chino. What time did you pick up Raphael last night? Okay, so why would Raphael's mother make a story? Tell the mother story, told on him. Oh man, if that's true, Pascal and Laguerre are gonna have a kiss. You're not going to believe her. We'll both be vindicated soon. Yeah, we're gonna find bodies down here too. Yeah, you're not just about to find gold. All the bodies just got, ooh, look at them. That's all, literally all the bodies. They found all these victims. I need your help. I That's like a hundred people down there, y'all. I think Deb could use you more. No, that Deb, makes Dexter Deb, scary, scary. It's his house. Whatever you need, Dexter. Thank you, Rita. I will make this up to you. Double booked. When I made plans to go out with Rita tonight, she hired a babysitter and everything. No way. I need to work out. When do I ever ask you for anything? Never. Well, why'd you have to put it that way? She's expecting you in a half an hour. You're a lifesaver. Harry would prefer I take more time, but my life is falling dun, dun, apart. Dun, dun, dun. Lane's open till midnight. You want to join me? Come in. Just come on. Come on in. But no, he's not staying. Listen to the gossip. I'm better than you treat me better. You got these things all mixed up in your head. My sight, my friend. I got nothing else to say to you until you decide to man up. She sees us. Look. Maria. Don't turn your head. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. We are having some problems. We know. I called his house three nights in a row and he says that he's working. He didn't return my phone call. I can smell it on him. Guys, I don't belong here, Rita. Can you help me? Help you. What? You are not telling on Dexter, oh, that's though. That's great. I'll call the lawyer in the morning. Look, what does it matter? It's just a shoe. I'm in a healthy relationship, finally. And I'm not going to throw it away to. You're in prison now, Paul. Mm. Deal with it. That's where she wants him to be. What the fuck? What the fuck? Get the 
Ooh, two needles. Not one, but two. You and Dexter come here a lot? We love the hot wings. Make me feel bad he's in prison, I suppose. I'm such an idiot. And what you went through is so much worse than my problems. <laughs> I can't believe you moved on like that. No, she's hurting inside. Oh, God. Memories will kill us. Not him. It's not him that you miss. The way he made you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. Look. Another fan. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, are you that girl? What the fuck are you doing? Oh. You. Why Dr. would you what touch him? You grab me. You saw it right there. Traumatized. What did you expect? Y'all want to keep touching her. Autograph. She's not famous, y'all. Maybe he's starting to have a conscience. He going to fight. He got muscles. Yes, sir, I know you know how to kill, but do you know how to fight? Gone. Oh. <gasps> 39 days, 22 Speed hours, lightning. and 18 minutes since I killed my brother. No, because he's in your face, Dexter. <laughs> the adrenaline, I just cannot. What were you thinking? I don't know. Dad, I, I don't want to die. I'm just trying to figure out some way to feel alive. Paul's no, dead. Shut the fuck up. Oh. He told you and he told you. No, I have to figure out how to tell my children their father's dead. And how you didn't listen. Yeah, how could you have helped him? It's in prison. How could you? No, because you really don't know Dexter. <laughs> you just know the way he treats you. It feels good. Mount mm. Pleasant in 81 and Sam. They've been playing it on the uh, news all night. Two your treasure bodies. hunters made a ghastly discovery. There's bodies in those bags. Nick. Did you hear that? 30 bags. Do you know what that means? Maybe I can finally get some peace. Isn't that great? No, because this is how we start in season two with all his bodies coming into play, with all his bodies appearing. Because he knows all them people, unless it's another killer that's putting their bodies down there. But no, it's Dexter's. I know it's Dexter's. And that's crazy. They start off with episode one of him, his body showing up, his body showing up. And I feel like he's getting a conscience now, like starting to have feelings or a heart. I know it traumatized him, traumatized him with his brother, but since he cannot kill right now, it's just like, uh, what's really happening? He's doing something like he, he's having a conscience, a heart, feelings, and that's not normal when it comes to Dexter, you know? So it's kind of confusing to him too. He wants to kill bad, especially after his brother being his last victim. He wants to kill bad, but he cannot right now. And yeah, oh my. So let's talk about episode one or ignore it. Ignore it. No, we're going to talk about it. So make sure you guys stay tuned for episode two. Put your opinions down below because I care about your opinions. I want to see if we had the same reaction, the same feelings. Let me know how you felt about season two, episode one, the first time you've seen it. Because this is my first time seeing it through my eyes. Uh, yeah, if, I, I feel like it's going to get deep. Not only that, but the other officer is following us and he's not giving, he's not giving up. He feels all the red flags in Dexter. He sees it, he feels it, and he's right. He's right. And it sucks to say that he's right, but he is. Dexter, season two, episode two. No recap. We have definitely been consistent. But put your opinions down below. How do you guys feel about this episode? Let's talk about it. And now all my secrets are floating to the surface. Where is the orderly, controlled, effective Dexter? How do I find him again? Some evidence lying at the bottom of the ocean. So How does he still have the doll baby's head? <laughs> I'm one I can't even solve what's wrong with me. No, really. Yeah, duty calls. The press is calling whoever dumped those bodies offshore. That's what they call you. Has a nice ring to it, no? 29th Street Kings for whacking a son. Yeah. First, she's the messenger. Now she's a goddamn message. He's mine. Yeah, about you that. Take a picture, Morgan. It'll last longer. She's saying you fucking cops don't do nothing, right, bitch? <gasps> no, he didn't. Where your mom at? Yeah. Beyonce. Incarnate. Couldn't pick a worse time, right? I'll write up the report and email it to you for signature. Yeah. Thank you. I owe you. <laughs> Same thing. He will always have that feeling. If I had killed Chino last night, that little girl's mother would still be alive. But it's not your fault. You wasn't even supposed to kill him. <laughs> if I don't, being linked to my beautiful bodies of work will be the least of my worries. Your hundred of bodies. It does give me the chance to tie up one match. It might be your, um, yeah, him. It's you, Sergeant. Who did you think it was? Who else you got following you? He said. This neighborhood? It's full of crazies. Found a couple of places on Craigslist you should check out. Got two bedrooms. 
Come on, Deb, give it a chance. See you at the job. Like, no, he doesn't want you living with him anymore. Astra? Sweetie, what's the matter? Mom's acting all weird and stuff. Not her blaming other people, but Dexter and herself. You just wake up. Don't mess up my pillows. You always Nothing. mess up my pillows. Well, she knows that she's trying to deny it. Or maybe it's because, again, she did have a sucky boyfriend and this boyfriend might be sucky too. To find out that he did this too. Your kid's father. I don't think she's leaving him though, so. We're having a funeral Why for Paul? Wouldn't he? I'll never understand how people yeah. deal with death. <laughs> 13, confirmed. You know, buzz in the halls is that the feds are coming in on the Bay Harbor bodies. Frank Lundy? He's a rock star. The Green River killer, the DC sniper. If the case was impossible, he broke it. What? Little Chino. Shit. <laughs> Fuck, he's big. My client has been repeatedly harassed by this department. And frankly, we're considering filing. <laughs> oh, cut the shit, though. Don't... Don't father, that's who we know you killed. Time stamp has this is yesterday afternoon. He covered his ass, had someone else do the deed. That makes him an accomplice, right? Nothing sticks. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Chino back over. Bet this guy never expected his work to see the light of day. Yeah. Bet you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Sulfuric acid, wood chipper, incinerator, hell, even meat pies. The mind boggles. Captain's coming up with that FBI guy. He's got a fucking entourage. All right, listen up, everyone. Briefing room in two minutes for show and tell. Special Agent Frank Lundy to help solve this crime. Now. Hello, everyone. There is no such thing as the perfect crime. In every department, up to speed on what we are doing. While I review your files, had these parts as coming from one body. Actually, it's two. Several inconsistencies between the two sets of body parts. Miss me, brother? Can't afford to lose it like this. Not with Special Agent Rockstar on my case. I'm coming for you tonight, little Chino. And this time there won't be any screw-ups. The fact that he still wants to kill right now. A damn grizzly. You may have to get closer than you'd like. But she'll do the job, I promise you that. Want some help? To uh, wrap your wrists so you don't hurt yourself again. I'm not. You try. It's not you, it's her. How am I doing? I saw the man I thought I loved. So how am I doing? I'm just fine. I might be playing fast and loose with my father's code, but I don't yeah, think Harry sure would that. disapprove. There's no time yeah, for performance anxiety. On. You're like here. <laughs> you should have known he has friends. You're at his party. No, he in a trunk. No, he not. <laughs> Under it. We're on the all night long if we have to. You'll find him, okay? Everything is wrong. It's okay. I got you. Please don't hurt us! No, why did he do that? Because now I have questions. I literally thought like there was more bodies in there and then this, his brother was like in a whole different corner and then Dexter was in a whole different corner was what I was picturing. No, they was holding hands right by each other. Why didn't he pick up the other little boy by the hand and pick up Dexter with his... No, that's weird. Dexter, please don't leave me! 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 Morgan, right? We got witnesses to interview. You see my brother? Um, um, it's about your task force. I think I can bring something to it, sir. But I was qualified. I said you'd done some fine work in homicide. I'm not convinced you play well with others. A threat. I've been thinking a lot about Paul's death. I'm using the insurance money to give Paul a proper funeral. Go clean yourself up. The kids are expecting you. I'm just gonna make you late. Damn it, Dexter! You just give me 10 minutes. Kid, it's not easy to be talkative when you got the 20 Nice Street Kings playing whack the witness. Whack the witness. Just takes one, right? Consistency. Yeah, he... God damn it! Morgan on one. She's about to get suspended. Tackle him. <laughs> because I asked last time, where is your parents? <laughs> um, that's a gun, not a taser. I'll tell you where the shit is. The drugs and shit. I said spear him, not put a gun to his head. 
Where's his other family? His mom, his dad. Smiled on Paul Bennett. And now the family will come forward for a few moments of silent prayer. I found your peace, Paul. He didn't, but I get it. Yeah, I think they did way too much with Jesus. Let that man die in peace. So how do I make you go away? Hmm. Well, you can try doing what these people are doing. I need to let you go. You think it's as simple as that? Half of them are three strikers, so they're mm. going to go away forever. Thanks to Yikes. Officer Morgan. That's not really a congratulations putting a gun to a little boy's head. Dad pulled a gun on an unarmed boy to get him to give up the game. What you got? <laughs> None of your business. What you got? <laughs> Today, Maria, it is all about the win. I think we really should enjoy this. It could open up a shit ugly can of worms for uh... me at the close. Only if right. someone mentions it. We appreciate your support. Yeah, but you are not staying focused, girl. And he's still out here like he didn't just snitch on the whole gang. I was about to say that little boy there. Like a ghost. How? It was only a matter of time before little Chino went after Joey Nunez for snitching him out. Here's hoping I'm back on my game. Trust me, you're not going anywhere uh -uh. this time. He rapped. No, maybe you didn't do the deed, but her blood is on your hands. Because he's a weirdo. I'm not so much doing this to you as I'm doing it. <laughs> then he's taking the blood. <laughs> what do you leave behind? A world without you. <laughs> but where are you going to put his body? Moving at over four miles an hour, the Gulf Stream is one of the world's most powerful deep water currents. No, shouldn't a lot of police officers be on the the water right now, like the patrol, especially after all those bodies? That don't even sound right. Well, let's just say the North Atlantic's a pretty big place. I'm guessing. He gone. Paul kept insisting to me that you knocked him over the head. Dragged him to his motel and shot him up with drugs. And he did. You gave me something to believe in when I didn't even believe in myself. Right. Did you attack him, Dexter? No. I'd understand if you did. He attacked me. I hit Paul to protect you and the kids. Damn. And he drugged him. Where did you get the drugs? Stolen from the evidence locker. It makes sense. I mean, what, what are you trying to say? That you planned on acting on impulse? But they were your drugs. Now it makes sense. That's where you disappear to at all hours of the night, like... Yes, I have an addiction. <laughs> we'll get you into a program. We'll get you the She's willing baby. to help you. She wouldn't even help her baby daddy get out. That's crazy. They've been together for, what, three months? And now I'm faced with the struggle for my own survival that I always knew was coming. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Ooh. Hey, Dex, what the fuck? Yeah, she gotta go. <laughs> up late? Yeah, just surfing. You don't need to do this now. Well, what about the video tours of eligible apartments? Uh, temporary insanity. This way I can take care of my sister the way Harry would have wanted. For every door that closes. Another one opens. Sorry? I had to say goodbye in order to reconnect with who I have to be. Goodbye. Oh, he could sleep now? Is that what he meant? Last time he could sleep because he couldn't kill. He wasn't acting normal. But again, that's that's only normal. Him or him or Deb not healed. But I'm so glad they have each other. Um, we definitely could tell Deb Deb need a break from life. Like she just need a whole vo vacation. A whole vacation. It's not like she don't deserve it. She does deserve it. And she needs it after she put the gun to that little boy's head. Like, come on, come on. She really needs it. Um, instead, they just so happy that they got all the criminals. Which, I get it. You know, that's their job. But, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Deb needs to heal. She needs a break. And that is that. Our little, what was the name? Little Chino? We got him. I mean, it took all the episode, but we got him. He ran away the first time. Shoot. He came in, had an alibi and everything. But they left Dexter to get you, and yeah, now you're not alive in prison. You did in the ocean. In the ocean. 
okay, so the new lieutenant, the new captain of the, uh, the, the, the police department, I feel like she's going to fail because she's not focused. She's worried about her fiance and this is the second time. First, we was on a whole mur murder case. She left. This time, we at um, the desk and she's pulling up the phone records and all of that. So I just feel like that's gonna come into play. But more than that, you know, this is an episode we couldn't miss. Um, the bodies, they really didn't talk a lot about Dexter's bodies. They're counting them, and so far they have like 13. But yeah, there's way more, I do believe. And they done sent a new detective or a big forensic, whoever, and he knows what he's doing. Like, it seems he knows what he's doing. So put your comments down below about episode two. We're gonna talk about it, ignore it. Oh my gosh, let's go. I'm gonna talk about it or ignore it. Ah! And I need duct tape, three or four rolls, running low on heavy duty trash bags. <gasps> When's the last time I sharpened my knives? And I, I lost my license. But I have to do this for myself. You guys are real addicts. <laughs> so how was the meeting? Tell me everything. Knowing you're not alone. Exactly. Let's talk about ignore it because now she knows everything about Dexter and what he did to Paul. And I understand Paul did you wrong. He treated you like a dog. So I understand the feelings go away. They do. Especially if you meet this new man that's treating you like gold. Like a queen. So them feelings do go away. But that's still your kid's dad. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Because my kid's dad, he was never perfect. You know, he, he was never perfect. The beginning of the relationship, he was fucking horrible. He was horrible. So I, I understand. But again, it's just like... You still have this man in your face. And no, he didn't kill Paul. But he lied on Paul and got him put in prison. And he's dead. I don't know. Put your opinions down below. How do you feel about it? Did you get fortune cookies? Only the ones with the good fortunes. Okay, so let's see your newcomer's chip. My newcomer's chip. Yeah. You're a terrible liar. Well, now that you know. But am I important? Are the kids? Yeah. I can't go through this again. Oh, that'll make you break up with him. Tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow. I'll stay. He's feeling her heartbeat. No, because I think he can get his feelings when it comes to Rita. Like, he can get his feelings all the way. Nice dodge last night, flowing it through that yellow light. Yeah, hold the rest of them downstairs. We're out of room here. The boss's sweater melons look bigger on TV. The operative word is boss. He's, he's like, a, a, he's harassment. Thought I was. Every time he looks at a woman or a dead body, it's just something coming out his mouth that's just blah. <laughs> that's just blah. Most of these people won't find answers here. Chances are good their loved ones weren't among my chosen few. First of all, I want to tell you what a great job you've all been doing on this horrific case. And with the help of the best manhunter in the FBI, we should have answers soon. In the meantime, the daily work of this precinct must continue to serve the public, so we'll be dividing up our resources. Sorry you got boom, but hey, no blood's better. Detective Sucks to be me. Detective Batista. Yes. I saw this happening. I'd also appreciate it if your lieutenant would consult with me before speaking to the press. I'll rip her a new one, if I can find her. Still, I wish my own sister weren't hunting me. Makes for an awkward family mm -hmm. dynamic. Because that really will break her heart. So. Let's talk about it. That will crush her. Like, she might need me to go to the hospital if she finds out her only family member is a serial killer, too, and her boyfriend was, was just one. When he... Vince Masuka and his team are gathering DNA, prints, and dental records. The rest of us are going to cull through cold cases and missing persons files. Work the files. Remember, IDs will lead to a pattern. When the manhunt is on, the hunted go shopping. Someone talked his way into the homes of two women and didn't leave till they were dead. But who requested those credit checks? When my two came along, it was bye-bye convertible. Of course, they're worth it. Must take after their mom. <laughs> and when they're happy, you're happy. That's right. Except the kids don't exist. Neither does the wife. You gotta sit in the captain's chair, though. It's like a 747, man. You've seen the, uh, the stone-go seating system, right? Everything in here. I can see how that might come in handy. I just grabbed the keys. And he got it. He I got go to it. stalk a killer and I end up with a new car. How'd that happen? <laughs> new car. So what's with the mommy mobile? Or dad mobile. I'm uh, not sure. And you gotta see the tent. Amazing. He don't need to be close. Say it. To the crimes. 
Look, thanks for choosing me for the task force and all, but I'd appreciate you finding someone else. You want off? Just as soon as you can replace me, sir. In the meantime, if you could continue the interviews. He knows what she Thank just you. been through, too, so she's not ready. She's not ready. I'd rather remember my old playmates as they were neat, clean little packages. More details. Humpty fucking dumpty, right? Exactly. They weren't meant to be put together again. Looking for my Taurus, Sergeant. He in a van. Keep looking. You don't need to know where I'm going tonight. Well, I'm 20 days sober. What's her deal? Again, hoping to make it to 21. I'm here for it. Go ahead, man. You're among friends. What's your name? Hi, Bob. Uh, Bob. 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 Okay. <laughs> my job. My boss found my works. He fired my ass. But I almost died. The coffee sucks. It's better next door. Come on. You thought I was lying? I don't know. Bob? <laughs> he don't look like a Bob. But the whispering gets louder. Mm. Until it's screaming now. This is how she feels. That is a slap in the face, Dexter. That is. Going there, telling the whole lie in front of people that really needs the help and they're really going through things. I'm not saying Dexter's not going through things, but he's not an addict. Addict to killing. Shadow <laughs> self. The dark passenger. We all hurt. It's just in different I'm ways. Sorry. Dark passengers. Rita will have to understand. Just miss story time. I was at a meeting. <sighs> I'm not any of those people. Going to those meetings will do more harm than good. I swear to you, I'm better off alone. Okay. <laughs> you should kick his ass out. I know saying? that's right, Rita. Thought you'd be on the treadmill. Taking the night off. A night off is good to remember what's important. Two women are dead. The killer is selling minivans, and I have an opportunity to prove it. Uh, that's that's great, but I'm with a customer, and so uh, one of my associates will yeah, take I'd care of you. I'd rather deal with you. I'll just wait for you in your office. Once you're in the box, you don't leave without a deal. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> don't worry, you're safe with Roger. He's the best. It's okay. He told me not to tell anyone either. Yeah, you know, I don't know how he makes a living sending all of his commissions to other dealers. So you're single. It's yeah. a routine. Makes it tougher to afford those big ticket items like cars and single neighbors at a distance the credit exactly. check gives roger all the details he needs she's vulnerable she's he next. knows that i'll take care of it i know the card is in his name i just want to check the charges yes no I... yeah i'll hold yes yeah you're right i'm sorry who was you on the phone my head up my ass lately <laughs> it's called being human no, excuse me i'm, I'm gonna she about to be fired back out of here you gonna have your job back, ma'am. They're dealing with like thieves, things like that. This is whole murder cases with bodies. And they don't even know if these people are criminals or innocent. You know, it's just dealing with bodies and humans at that. And if that don't make you stay focused on your job, I don't know. Trust me. Of course. I'll handle it. Too much. Roger's DNA Too matches much. the semen found at both crime scenes. Irrefutable. I mean, it's pizza night. Should I pick up the usual? Did you go back? Is this it? It's up to you, Dexter. You tell her I can't help her. She... I, I can't. I can't help you. Por <laughs> favor. It's been 24 hours since I asked to be replaced. Everyone wants on, but you went off. What kind That's of? That's why I chose you. You know. It has to be because of what you went through, and you're still here. Accept that. Really accept it. You could use it. Finish today's interviews. She never had a break. <laughs> I was so sorry. You got it. You were a pain in the ass, but always a damn hard worker. And of course, you knew how to handle the press. Should I be worried about Pascal? I'm beginning to hear rumors about erratic behavior. And you're asking me because you know what erratic means for non-male? And it's the same bullshit sexism I put up with when I was in charge. This guy's fine. It's girl code. What is that girlfriend of yours seeing a freak show like you anyway? You have to ask her. Maybe I will. You were top of your class in med school, but you traded it for fucking blood spatter. You know what an easy credit is? I know 
Maybe you're a good liar, too. Sergeant Dokes thinks he knows my secrets. No, I'm just uh, dropping off some x-rays. You hoping I'll talk to you? The ones with heads, anyway. Why were they chosen? Looking for a pattern? Leaders have slaughtered whole populations for the same warped reason. To save an innocent life. Why would he How many say more bodies that? would there be had I not stopped those killers? I was. You did it for the little girl. I thought some of them was. Not all of them, obviously. Some of them was to feed his addiction on killing. But if they're felonies and they hurting people and they're criminals and all that, they hurting people. So at the end of the day, you are doing it for it. People that could get Motivation hurt. Motivation aside, I think Harry and Lundy would agree on this one. I can't write you up right now. I got the wife waiting for me. You're not married. Ex-wife. I got to take the kids. You don't have kids? You should. <laughs> you were right about the ample cargo space. Looks different under plastic, but you spent an evening here. And Cohen. You got the wrong guy. I, I sell cars, for God's sake. I don't lie. He took his hair off. Dexter is so stupid. <laughs> hey, look. Why did he take his wig off? I know boys don't call it wig. It's called like a toupee or something like that. Correct me, because I feel like that's wrong, too. In any car on the lot, <laughs> it's your the other lot. <laughs> He's a compulsive liar. Like about your wife. Not married. Girlfriend, then. You can see her in the passenger seat. That's what I thought. And the kids in the back. Leave the kids out. See? You're lying to yourself if you think you don't care. But you can't let her get to you like this. Because because they're all the same. He did it all wrong. Talk that way about my girlfriend. And I'm not sure what I am. Hi, Dexter. You a killer. I don't fight him. I don't want to. He's all I've got. Or is that just a lie? The dark passenger tells me. I never mattered before. Suddenly starting to matter. Yeah, I have questions. It scares the hell out of me. Hello, Dexter. How she know your name, Bob? I knew there was something wrong with you. That, that makes sense. Makes the job go down easy. Stay clean and stay out of my way. He made our lives a living hell. When he'd go to prison, it was a blessing, but uh, you kept letting him out. Damn. You done running. Lundy, wait. And who typically has a prison record? Bad guys. You're catchy going. Do you think it could be a, a pattern? Maybe. To wake you up, but I had to let you know that you were right. About what? But this, it was good. <laughs> Lila don't know that. <laughs> Hi. Oh, no. She has insecurities, probably because the ex. Probably because the ex. That showed insecurities. There's no way around it. It's a pretty lady, short dress, um, <laughs> tapping his back, like anything. Especially if you've been in a relationship where you got cheated on and betrayed. That's the first thing that comes to your mind. Oh, no, he's going to cheat, too. Oh, no, it's a pretty girl. Oh, no, it's another woman showing him some type of attention. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you that's what it is. I used to be that girl. Never again. Know your worth, ladies. Know your worth. Know that you're worth more. And if a man do you wrong, he did himself wrong. Exit out. <laughs> I just know, but we're going to see. We are going to see on episode four. Okay, so we talked a lot through this. When I talk a lot, I'm more invested. Okay, so let's talk about it. I don't like the way they treated Debbie. Um, I get it. I get it. It's a job. If you're going to be here, work. I get it. If you're not ready, go on vacation. That's why I was like, Dad, why are you doing this to yourself? At this point, you're doing it to yourself because you keep showing up at this job. Now, they know what you've been through, so it's only right to let you have a break. You know, a little break. But when the head FBI, forensics, manhunter, when he came in, he was like some, well, you know a serial killer, you know? You're the best at it. You, you, you seen it through your eyes firsthand. So you should be on this team. If you're ready, quit running from it. It made me upset because she never had a break. Soon as she found out, like, she never had a break. I guess the break would be until season two, but let's get real. If we're going to play a TV show, it's going to be in real life, meaning she really didn't have that break. So it's just like, give her a damn break. <laughs> and then when I'm invested, I like to overthink. And overthinking is just too much for me. 
So I just blurt stuff out sometimes. So I, I want to take the time out to apologize. I want to apologize. When I'm invested, I talk a lot. I talk so much because it's just like, no, no. Um, not only that, but Dexter, we're getting close to his bodies. He's not even worried about the bodies. I mean, he's obviously worried about, but we're thinking about killing people and going to an AA meeting. You know what I mean? So, so he's really not worried about it. I mean, when it comes down to it, he will, he will, but yeah, going to these classes is going to help our, our character, the way people see us, especially the cop that's stalking us. Yeah, but we see Debbie. She's on it now. So I guess, you know, she's okay. She wants to be more invested. And again, when you do take a break or a vacation, a lot is on your mind. Um, she's definitely going to be depressed, overthinking. It's not going to be like no vacation where, oh my gosh, this is lovely. I know that too, but take a vacation on the couch. Watch TV, you know, chill. Cry yourself to sleep. Whatever you have to do to heal yourself. Go see a therapist, you know. Hang with friends. We have not seen not one of her friends. How do you not have no friends? Now, Dexter, I, I, I understand because he wanted to be alone. That's who he was. You know, he came from a different family, a different gene, you know, different blood is run, running through his body. So we have to know more about his parents, Dexter's. But far as Deb, I guess just because she had that two parent home don't mean it was perfect because we also found out the dad is a freaking liar, a big, big liar. Not only that, not only that, but we question, why didn't he take the other boy? Why didn't he take the other boy if Dexter was literally holding his hand and he was right next to the little boy? No, that is all red flags to me. Because there's no way I would see two little boys in a blood of a um, container and only pick one up and say, hey, there's more in there. Go back for him. Somebody has to go back. Like, what? No, that's weird to me. So I do believe that the, the stepdad his fake dad harry his dad harry he might he i think he's like him i think he's like dexter now in the future we gonna see but in, in my heart i feel that he is someone like dexter or he's he's a compulsive liar like there's some to that to harry that that's a big red flag a big question mark let's knock out more dexter season two episode four lundy has yet to throw up his hands and say wow this guy's good i give up <laughs> Dexter, move. I just, I just need you to move. <laughs> uh, and she heard about Paul's passing and she wanted to come and be supportive. That sounds promising, I hope she's right? not a toxic mother. It's too hot. I know, honey. Hopefully it'll cool down soon. Did you sleep any better last night? We need air conditioning? Or nightmares? Horror butcher. Yikes. Your city only kills bad people. You're not a bad person, are you? There's some monster out there that's, scaring my that's son. That's scary. In our most paranoid moments, we fear that everyone yes. is talking about us. That's become my reality. That's how you know you're doing wrong. What it means. Here she goes again. I think and we go out with this news it. immediately. Last night, an elderly man shot his son when he came home late. An agreement. Let him come in the house first and then shoot him. Like First stage of the grieving process for those what who learn they're going to die. But I've got to be calm. Yes, baby. Yep. Give me one second, baby. Time for a visit to my sponsor. Yeah, have a look around. We are. <laughs> That's a whole lot of mannequins with a lot of character. Why are they eating each other? Dunno. Ask them. You made them eat each other. Jesus, what are you doing? What is her deep? Her deal. <laughs> like. That was our store run, y'all. Here, I thought we were going to get art supplies. That's exactly what we're doing. I've never sponsored anyone before. Really? Um, yeah, but don't worry. I've had all kinds of sponsors. Look at Dion. <laughs> He's a killer. Dexter, meet Dexter. I'm going to help the two of you get to know each other. Except it doesn't really seem necessary. It's like a accept who you are, like realize who you are. I mean, he says he's a bad person, so he kind of realizes it. I mean, he accepts it. Is accepting who you are, me, or your deepest, darkest secrets? You better not. They never got him help Hello? either. Husband's car is gone. Nobody knows where he is. Do you have any idea what they found? Can we concentrate on this case here, please? Shots to the chest. 
I only see one hole in the chest. It was all topped off by a final shot to the head. A Russian grenade with Chris Dagger. And tell me that <laughs> shit wasn't stolen from Saddam's palace. Okay, what are you saying? I'm saying, asshole special ops. Sir? I want you each to pick a body. There's this a lot. The case is going to be made. We have 13 suspected murderers. Robert Thatcher. Janitor. Do you realize I'm doing something? Do you realize you really don't need me right now? You just want to be in here? Come on. I got to work, 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 work. And do mommy tonight. got to work, 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 work. We got to put that work in until we make it on this YouTube, y'all. Say like, to comment, and subscribe for my mommy. No, don't. Okay, I guess you don't want Spider-Man toys then. <laughs> Okay. You heard him. Okay, I'll be right back. The school district with no criminal record. Married, loved, respected. Mm -hmm. But he was found in a bag under the sea with 13 killers. That's because he done did something. Why? For fun. You don't kill this many people because it's a chore. My buddy put me in touch with a guy from Curtis's unit. He's willing to talk to me. Good. I got your blood report. Say all three shots were fired in less than a second. A second? Ay, ay, ay. Who can identify this for me? Uh... Help me, Dexter. Anything I can do to overburden Masuka is to my advantage. The back bedroom's small, but it's quieter. I'm just happy to be here. The... I just, I thought you didn't want to come. I mean, you and Paul. Oh, nonsense. It's not a sign blame, Rita. Nothing good ever comes of that. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Dexter. You have made me your sworn enemy, evil woman. 30 years as a school teacher, I've got a little experience with children. He's got my seal of approval. <laughs> you already have mama's... Perhaps I have misjudged you, oh wise mama's one. Mama's approval. Yeah, his sister spilled everything. Thinks he killed their parents and made it look like a car accident. I mean like a date? I guess you could call it that. So why did you call it a social appointment? Wow. With the hours we work. I'm serious. Make time for it. It'll help keep you better balanced. Plays a little loose with the 12 steps. It doesn't seem smart making it your own. For my recovery. No, oh, maybe someone older. More like you, more manly. <laughs> more manly. We see your eyes. I'm Gabriel. Done for the night? Usually a lady has to buy me dinner. We here? Like we here in bed? Oh, she kinky. Oh, you're into the kinky stuff, huh? They like getting it on. I think in your bed. Who is the Bay Harbor butcher? It's, it's not the treadmill tonight. Jesus, you're supposed to be at She riding. Sorry, sorry. Riding out. Please put those shadows out of your mind. It was just your back. He <laughs> thinks he can use them to pinpoint which harbor the killer keeps his boat. Oh. Now we have to get rid of it. That's a marine biologist coming down to take a look. Where I dumped them. Obviously, I'm missing something. And I don't like that. Mm. Isn't shit. James. Listen, we got a missing murder suspect. This guy's a friend of his. I'm just gonna go talk to him. I was he killed? But I don't know. Maybe he found out who the serial killer is. Oh, okay, so your husband is an engineer. Overboard, Angel. You dokes? He age. He hasn't aged at all. He ages well. He played off a smart guy, Disney. I grew up on that. Oh my gosh, that was my show. I'm pretty sure that's the dad on Smart Guy, the little TV show on Disney. He does not age at all. He looks the same. Just need 48 hours. Now, I got somebody who's going to take me to Cuba, but it's going to take a day to get the papers I need. Did you kill your wife? Yeah. <gasps> I killed Alicia. Turn around. Get out and have some fun. Got laid big time. <laughs> got laid. I don't usually just go to the gym and pick up stranger. By the time we even got to the restaurant, I was tearing my hair out. Oh, God, I'm sorry. No, it was good. A really beautiful relationship. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Okay, this is the first time I regret not being a bigger nerd. You karyotic? Up front. Oh, no, is that crazy Oh, bitch? gosh. <laughs> we called her crazy bitch. I can oh, smell my God. No, no. Not her embarrassing herself to the whole department. Girl, you are worth so much more. You just have to see it first. Oh, this is so embarrassing. And I know, I know how it feels because I embarrassed myself before. 
you have no, nobody owes you loyalty but the man that you're with at the end of the day there's going to be women and men that does not care about your relationship she's going to embarrass herself and i'm going to feel bad for her because she doesn't know this her worth yet ruining my life and you all no really like nothing is happening like they always say that never part. take your dirty laundry to work that part got your ass by now Ooh. so he you cares cared your little. wife man you married no got tired of you punching holes in the walls because you know there's no help for this kind of fucked up because war is more than being a hero it comes with a lot traumatizing mentally emotionally paranoid he left so he wouldn't kill her oh no Let's take the boat out. come on just get me with the sight i could swim from there once I'm there, I could find the paper. You're wasting me. your time. Not a chance. Well, that's too bad. What's your next move? It was the plan. Because that hurts. She didn't deserve to die, and he don't deserve the mental problems. You're breaking up with me. Actually, I don't think I want to answer any more questions. So let's just jump in, all right? Does it make you angry when your teachers tell you what to do? Have you ever killed an animal? No. Never. They could have helped him. Diagnosed him. But again, I feel like medicine doesn't help people either. It just messes them up more. At least what I have seen. I'm not going to say everybody. I don't know everybody to say that. She's been under low stress. You're still doing it. What's that? Sticking up for her. You thought she was going to be a hater. You just might be a real cop. <laughs> It's what I've been trying to tell you. It's up to you to turn that around. What? It is not that serious. She just had a meltdown. Don't tell me he's about to burn it down. There's no way he's about to get away with that. Lila, what are you, Lila, what are you doing here? What? I'm tired and hot. Whatever you think you are, you don't have to be that. Jesus, Dexter, what are you so fucking scared of? Girl, you make bye. yourself into a monster so you no longer bear responsibility. I'll show you evil. Please don't, Dexter. Can I touch? Yeah, she's not scared. This isn't exactly the reaction I was looking for. Oh, I've never seen anything like this before. I knew she was gonna like it. Anyone ever seeing me for who I am, but this woman sees me. She doesn't know it. And that doctor didn't even see the monster inside you. Good job. I don't think we should congratulate that type of stuff. I don't I, I don't think we should. I mean, we teach him a code. I'm here for it because if that was my son, you know, I wouldn't want him to just go off and kill people, no. But I would want him, again, to, I don't know. I don't know because either way around it sounds iffy. In my opinion, it really does your son or not. It does sound iffy. I don't know. I would want to get him help. I wouldn't want him to go to jail. I wouldn't want him to kill people. So it's just an iffy situation. Yeah, I was about to say, don't start hugging her. She just said you broke up with her. Now you're getting kisses. <laughs> I know Dexter don't like her like that. At least not right now. I know he don't. It was shameful of me to disgrace the memory of your husband. I've never seen anything like it. All murdered cut into pieces can you feel it coming over the water it's finally cooling down you just came to apologize you have to do what you have to do i say put this bay harbor butcher on the city payroll give him a corner office no because this is wrong don't be maybe we can uh do it again No, I do mean it. I do. Shut the fuck! Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Oh. I don't understand, Maria. You iffy I bitch. Just... Right in her face. And that's to any woman. This is woman power. Like, no, we don't bring down other women or downgrade or any of that to other women just to please our needs, just to make us happy, or just to play get back. You know what? Go back to Esme. You are one cold-hearted bitch. I'll tell you that. So she did do it on purpose. No. 
Damn. But like I said, nobody's supposed to owe you loyalty but your partner. There will be people on the side that don't care about your relationship. I'm the butcher man. I made it for him. I thought it might help with the nightmares. I do know she's helping me look at myself in a different way. He's hiding something. And he is mother. Sure of it. And he is. Because again, her mama didn't like the other man. So therefore she's gonna think she's nitpicking like, no, you just doing this because obviously you don't like anybody I date. You know, I know that's gonna be her mindset. And the genus Nisha. And we know we're talking about a freshwater marina. Frozen anymore. They're not freezing. They melted. So it's gonna be hard. It's possible I'm just fooling myself. But I'm willing to take the risk. <sighs> you brought your marine biologist and everything. No. Yeah. Yeah. The algae we found in the rocks. Bay Harbor Butcher used them to weigh his bags down. Was came to examine the bodies. No. No, it's all about the rocks, baby. At the same time, I suddenly find myself weighing the benefits of electrocution versus lethal injection. Oh, Dexter, because they are going to definitely figure you out. They're telling you everything. So therefore, it's going to come down to nobody knew this unless I told them. You know what I mean? Strangers not going to know. The garage people, you know, that could be an excuse this time, but it's just like you're at the police department. You're working on a serial killer. Why don't you have cameras in the building or outside the building? That don't make no sense. You should have seen Dexter on camera doing that. I really thought he was going to burn it down, though, honestly. I thought he was really going to burn it down. Let's talk about old girl. Okay, Marie. Maria. Okay, her. Let's talk about it. She grindy as hell. She a girl that you don't want to be friends with. Uh-uh, because as soon as you make her mad, upset, or say something like iffy, or you know, try to confront her about something, she's gonna go behind your back and do what she has to do to make herself feel better. And that's how I feel about it at the moment, at the moment. Because good Lord Jesus, she's seen that woman break down, break down, break down. And in the midst of it, she was trying to act like, oh no, I'm gonna be there for her. You know, I know how it is, calm down, it's okay, go take a break. You know, things that she was doing. Come to find out she's the one sleeping with the boyfriend or the fiance. You know what? Like I said, sneaky, sneaky people, secret secrets, and we all have them, you know what I mean? It's just like, you shouldn't, you know, be a better person, change your ways. And at her dinosaur age, she know better. <laughs> she know better. <laughs> You cannot tell me she don't know better. Like, come on. Come on. Okay, so that was one of the twists in here. Dexter, you're about to get caught. Like I said, there's no way around it. It's the whole police department. At the end of the day, they're going to come down to, well, we told someone. It has to be someone in the police department that's ruining the evidence that we need. I don't know if he's going to ruin the rocks. How he going to get to the rocks if he's already, you know, examining them. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then Deb. Let's talk about Deb. She's opening up more, trying to heal, and I'm here for it. Um, people heal in different ways. They do, and who are you to say they cannot heal the way they want to heal? So, again, she's healing. She's trying to heal. She's trying to get over the mess, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it, and I hope the best for her. I hope the best for her. Um, yeah, Dexter's, what was they calling her? Um, the people that help out, sponsor. Girl, you red flags. Like I said, she might be a killer too. We seen her mannequins. So when she seen the bodies, I knew it wasn't going to be, ew, OMG, no. I just knew it. She's like sadistic in some type of way, but we don't know. She's still a question mark. <laughs> but yeah, she kissed him and said, you broke up with me. Like she's, a, she's like, I don't know, obsessed with people that comes in her way or comes past her. There's something to her. And I, and I feel like Rita knows. And I feel like Rita knows this girl. I don't know how, but I feel like she knows something about her. And if that's the case, she just need to go ahead and tell Dexter flat out, I don't want you by her because such and such. I don't know, I don't know. But we explored episode four, checked it off the list. Now let's get to episode five. Put your opinions down below. Please understand I'm the only person doing this, you guys. Not only that, but you guys know I have younger ones. My son be running in and out. You guys see that too. That's why I don't edit that out. I just be like, I have to show them what I really go through, you know? Because again, I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from too, not just me saying it, you know. And um, I appreciate you guys for the ones that's keeping me up on my toes, but doing it like in a nice way, you know what I mean? So I'm here for it, you know. The last time was a twist with Maria. Most people hate long lines. Hi, can I have a 
happy in a Danish. The bank. Want a real glimpse of human nature? Stand in the way of someone's mocha latte. As far as I'm concerned, whoever's doing this shit deserves a goddamn medal. That'll be 420, man. Here, God send. Let it get to your head, Dexter. <laughs> the rocks I use to submerge my victims may eventually sink me, too. Give me one shot, I put a bullet in the fucker's head. I thought you were taking it slow. We are. No sex, just cuddling. Got a scalding hot beverage here, Dex. Don't make me use it. Love you too. Tragic beginnings. Secret identities. Part human, part mutant. Impact spatter is consistent with repeated blows to the skull. There's no money missing from the register. No. Something this brutal is personal. Dark Defender. Herbert Butcher. Really? I'm conducting an interview here, Morgan. Denny was <laughs> yeah. trying to set up The Dark Defender as a graphic novel. Dating Susie Mitchell. We broke up because I called her by her sister Sharon's name once. Don't you hurt my baby! <laughs> Only if it went this way. It's okay, Mom. So, what were you doing to your mother in this dream? Saving her life. I've never told anyone that before. Ever. Yeah, sure. When I got clean, all the seriously fucked up reasons I used in the first place began to surface. There were three men. If these guys are behind bars, you need to confront them. You would think you would try to find better. that out a long time ago. You know how I told you the last guy I had sex with tried to kill me? He was the ice truck killer. Come on, Dad. Never heard of Stop him. it. Don't screw with me. Damn. I'm a trophy fuck. She just needs reassurance. <laughs> no, because I'll be paranoid too. You think you're charming, don't you? I'm sure that probably works for you most of the time. It did for Paul. Tell me, Dexter, why would Rita print out Narcotics Anonymous literature if Paul's dead? But oh. I would never hurt Rita like Paul did. Because I'm not going to give you that chance. You will let my daughter and those sweet children go. Leave them alone. Does kill people, y'all. Them are kids. And like I said, I don't think Dexter would ever hurt them kids. But damn, if something will make you snap as far as people being bad... Like, I don't know. What else can make you snap? And it does come to mind. Like, can anything else make other people snap than what they're doing? And I know he lives by a code. I keep that all in mind, too. But I don't know. I don't think he ever hurt them kids. Or Rita. But he does. I hope he cleaned the boat and everything. I haven't seen to find any other crime scene files. Montel's Jimenez. Was it an open case? Well, Jimenez turned state's evidence went into witness protection. The criminal informant working the cocaine bus from the inside. It's evidence just like you asked. Why isn't that enough? We want Estrada and his men behind bars. I think someone may have followed us to the park. If we were followed, I would have noticed. We need to pick up Ryan at school. I won't let anything happen to you. Or your boys. It was his case. Laura Moser was his informant. Harry knew my mother. Anyone from the shoot rollout team talk to you about counseling? Why the fuck would I need counseling? The department's chaplain's got a good ear. Some people just want to be left alone, too. Point. His decorator, love the hat. Dexter's best friend. Nice to meet you, Andrew Batista. Look who I found. He keeps lying. When you're done with him, maybe you can come over to my place. Did you find out what happened to the men responsible for your mother's murder? Cut a deal. Now he lives in Naples, Florida. He runs a tavern. Well, I guess he is in prison. Naples is what? So what could he do there? Two hours away. We could go tonight. Like kill him. So I'm thinking, we're assuming our killer owns a boat, but what if he's... <sighs> the names you of... like cucumber sandwiches, Officer Morgan? I always stop and eat lunch at 1 o'clock. You learned that about me. Why don't you sit down? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are you criticizing me for wanting to do my job? Yes. Forgive me for being a little fidgety, but if it's lunch we're talking, I'm going to eat a fat 
pork sandwich, and I'm sure as shit not going to eat it here. That's why I'm going to order 24-hour surveillance on this marina and the two others. As soon as I finish. You better my... not kill nobody. I finished my spatter report, put in for a personal day, left word with Rita. In the middle of the week? Thought I'd, you know, take the minivan out on the open road. Who are you? And then like I'm 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 going in circles with my with my words because it's just like I don't want Dex to get caught. But then, like, I'm so invested into this case. It's just like, yeah, it's Dexter. He's in your face. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How are you going to seriously feel. consider moving your boat? Security out there sucks ass. Thought about what you're going to say to this guy when you get there? Sure, I'll think of something. He stole my life. I'm not the person I'm supposed to be. I hide in plain sight. She's going to find out he's a killer. This is what he made me become. Then that's what you should tell him. Just like old times. You can always get in the car and pass the time like we used to. Copy Not that. them having a pass. I'll take a lead. I got it. With killing two men, you're fine. He's so aggressive and angry. This isn't the army. It hurts. How did you know about Bertrand? Please answer. I didn't for sure until just now. Damn. He good. <laughs> he real good. This isn't art. It's cottage porn. Hi. Hey. So good to hear your voice. I decided to look up someone from my past. Well, after this morning, I figured it'd be better if she I kept my distance. She knows what she's doing. Look, this means nothing. I'm so sorry about this, Dexter. I'll see you soon. Okay. Pa, oh, why are you not in the shower? I know. I'm just checking some emails. We should be at the restaurant in half an hour. No, we shouldn't invade his privacy. They've only been together for what, one week, two weeks? Putting the clothes a copy of the Ice Princess, other great publishers, proud his distributors, quality books and novels, and let's hope the Ice Princess will only further the tradition of wait hearing your thoughts. Thank you for your time and consideration. You lied to me. You're a writer. I, I'm trying to be, yeah. The book about me and the Ice Truck Killer. That's crazy, Dad. Those letters, were, they, they were just... Fred. What is it? Beer. It's not here. Whatever's on tap. Way to ditch me. You're in the shower. Well, call me when you figure it out, right? Not my fault. I tried to warn you about Paul, but you ran away with him anyway. For the first time, I feel safe and loved. And that's because of Dexter. If you want to abandon me and the kids again, fine. It's your choice. But Dexter is not going anywhere. She said what she said. How long you lived in Naples? I need to tell you how I feel. You know, what you need to do is leave. And if you don't walk out that door right now, I tried to lie this way. <laughs> yeah, now you about to get the whole anger. The port of Miami. He's not even gonna let you talk. You remember now? You better not. You left with so many evidence, so much evidence. I know exactly who you are. You made me into what I am. Okay, okay, I, I killed her. I would have killed him if I didn't. You slaughtered her. She was fucking kidding. That's what got her killed. And then he adopts you. I'm done with you yet. What? Are no. Okay. No, but I'm about I'm to. I'm killing. Tell me where you are. That confirms she don't know he a killer yet. You'd be too late. Right back to the way you were. Hollow. Angry. And you don't. One person he spared a life to and it's him. No, because I really thought Rita would play this role as far as trying to calm him down like this when he kills and it's her. I'm wide awake anyway. Dexter's out of town. I don't really sleep when I'm there by myself. What about the new boyfriend? You ran a background <gasps> check on my boyfriend? He was using me to shop around a book about the ice truck killer. Do you know what kind of writer Gabriel is? The ice princess is a uh, children's book. Like Frozen? When my I wife don't know how we me, feel now. She was convinced I was a spy. She died. Mm. That's how I lost my mom. No, let's talk about it. Let's talk about mother. We haven't heard a lot about her. That's what I say. She shouldn't go through his thing. But I don't think it matters to me. You'll be fine. Just words. <laughs> I'd used for years. Under control. 
Thought he was my boyfriend, but he turned out to be my dealer. One night, I was so fucked up, God. What I didn't know was that Marco was passed out inside. He died because of me. Seeing that side of myself was terrifying. Did he deserve it? Yes. Hey, you. I wasn't expecting you this early. I didn't hit any traffic. No, you're staying right here because you're a part of this family. The Patch. I have some quitting of my own to do. So Rita assures me that you're committed to getting better. In fact, I've decided to stay in Miami. You know, my sister's looking for a new apartment. I'm sure we can help you find one, too. Oh, don't be silly. I'll be living here. Funny thing is, I've met someone who doesn't care what I am. I suppose every hero needs a sidekick. A life with no more secrets. Imagine it. He says surveillance, and they just seen him clean his boat top to bottom with the little light thingy too. So, and again, he works in forensics. He knows how to clean blood or what to do, what not to do. You know, certain things he know. <laughs> but again, he's so worried about everything else. And that's what's getting me too. It's just like blotting him. Yeah, I'm that person that killed all these people, but oh well, you know. They're going to, are they not going to find out? I guess there is seven seasons. So maybe they don't ever find out. Maybe they don't. Lord Jesus. This whole lot of whole lot of. So again, Dexter season two, episode six. We're going to knock a lot out. So no recap. We have been consistent. How much? 300 bricks, give or take. Meet me later. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Laura, the tape's still rolling. That means you have no business doing that. My mother, confidential informant and mumbler. Did he blame himself for her death? Is that why he took me in? I spent so much time trying to live up to his expectations because I thought he had my best interest in mind, but now. If you're gonna come over this- He's late, iffy. Harry did what he did. The result's the same. You have an addiction. But I built everything in my life on what Harry said I was supposed to be. Whatever's inside you is splattered all over that paper that I took from your lab. Mine was in college, but hey, maybe you're a late bloomer. Lucky me. Late. Fell asleep before you got home last night. Re readers? None, yeah. Your brother's a junkie. Mm. Are you high? He's never even smoked a cigarette. Mm, mm, mm. Everything's just boiling down. So I hear a rumor you're tracking all our internet activity. Can explain all that shemale stuff. Sir, it's not what we're looking for. I'd like you to join us, if you can spare him. That's fine with me. He told me some of the female stuff. He knocked me out. Then when I woke up, I was tied up in that train car over there. But I've never seen him before in my life. Dex! Take your time in there. We've never been this close to this bendejo. He may have borrowed my pseudonym, but this guy doesn't know the first thing about my techniques. Well, look, the butcher kills criminals, right? You didn't kill anyone, did you? All right, I gave this... This old guy a heart attack. I want to check out the train car with your brother. Careless. Whoever did this would never pass Harry's muster. Then again, neither would Harry. From what I understand, Details. the conditions in this space don't support his M.O. It's filthy, mm. for one thing. Really? You think he's compulsive? This doesn't fit either. He uses duct tape and plastic wrap. Maybe the butcher's having an identity crisis. Any new leads on the real guy? Not yet. We're hoping the cameras will turn something up. Has Lundy seen me on the tape? Is that why he invited me along today? To mess with me? You didn't tell me they put up security cameras at the marinas. It's not like they're doing us any good. Lundy said it should be fixed by tonight. There you go. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, why is it a relief? <laughs> She's by the water. I'm gonna say goodbye. I gotta go. I was supposed to meet Lila ten minutes ago. I have an idea. Why don't you and Lila have dinner with us? He hasn't given off any red flags. He did lie about the road trip or who he was with, but she didn't ask, are you going alone? At least we didn't see that. So, I mean, I don't know. They haven't did anything though, but they are getting close and she has kissed him. Dexter never said a bad word about anyone. So about five years. I don't know much about math. Rita's ex-husband shot heroin. Like Dex, you have every right to be concerned. But if I can reassure you, Dexter's doing incredibly well. I'm not the only artist at the table. 
Jack Stewart. Since when? And it makes perfect sense, really. He what just Rita doesn't mother? know this. Why does? Why do you? Why do you know this? And I don't know this. And I'm his girlfriend. That's the first thing that's gonna come to her mind. She keeps breaking up things that Dexter hasn't talked to her about. And again, I understand we know why, but Rita don't know why. You know, this girl can understand him more. But again, Rita has been through things too. Maybe she could understand, but he doesn't He doesn't tell her for some reason. Maybe because he doesn't want her to leave or feel some type of way and she has kids, like she brings more to the table, you know, why as far as kids. He don't have kids, you know? So if he goes to jail or something, he don't have kids. He has stepkids, yes. So maybe it's it's just different. I don't know. Forgot the bread. And me too. She's really helping me. I wish she didn't have to help you tonight. Convince her, but it needs to get done tonight. I don't even know any kids books. My dad told me cop stories before bed. You do, you totally have a crush on Grundy. Grundy. Oh, now you're getting touchy about it. You don't have a crush on him. Grundy loves you. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Grundy's good. Double locked. And a bit beyond my expertise. Too risky. Dex is going to check in. But twat, I can't believe I almost slipped up about your mum. Mind you, it could have been worth night together in a hotel. <laughs> But who leaves voicemails like that? That's why I said she's iffy. Because at one point, I really thought she was there for Dexter. But then she gets butt naked in front of Dexter. You know, Dexter wants to get her closer. And then she kisses Dexter on the lips. And now, you know, she's leaving voicemails. That's talking about his girlfriend and the girlfriend's mama. Saying more about the business that she just knows about. And Rita, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know her, like, her agenda. I think she just, she's iffy. Anyway. Uh, you and Lila stayed in a hotel together. We had adjoining rooms. Adjoining rooms. Right, you're a liar and a cheat, and I am through. Mama's here. Yeah, she is. What the fuck are you doing up so early? I gotta get to the station. You seem weird. Rita broke up with me last night. Stop being a douchebag and go fight for her. She's fucking perfect. Who's that, Gabriel? No, Lundy. He's holding a meeting at the station about the Bay Harbor case. The show's already started, but have they seen the feature presentation? Da, 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 da. I'll be making my on-screen debut soon enough. I've got to figure out a way to get to those video files. People think they found their oh own personal bag. This is not good news. At all. This kind of thing catches on. We're looking at an epidemic. That's a disaster. It'd be raining feds in Miami. We need to nip this in the bud. Oh, please tell me John Henry, our train car victim. I think Olsen attacked him for revenge. Full force of the FBI. That's the last thing I need. I've got to make sure Lundy gets his man. Is there a reason you're in my lab, Sergeant Dokes? Is there a reason you're listening to tapes as old as you are, Morgan? So if I were to take a hair from your desk and run it for drugs, because why would someone pretend to be an addict if he's not? I want to file a formal complaint against Dokes. He's really not yeah. much of a talker. I'm asking you as a personal favor to me to hold off. It isn't a suggestion, Dexter. It's an order. Clear the station. Clear your head. I don't want to see mm. you here until after lunch. That seems to be going well for you. Add to that the fact that Rita heard your message and dumped me last night. I... You're the one who said I'm supposed to feel my feelings. Yeah, well, now I'm telling you to get them under control. <gasps> I knew this was happening. Oh, gosh. We got to cut all this out. What are you thinking? Absolutely nothing. I guess I must be a good sponsor after all. You said you wanted to explain, and I owe it to you to hear you out. Apparently my new life involves a love triangle. I'm that guy. You were telling Dexter? What the hell were you thinking? You wouldn't have had lunch, Maria. You could have asked. I spent years looking the enemy in the face, and I'm telling you, Morgan, is dangerous. Get lied about the ice cream killer. That crack pipe knew way more than he ever told us. We've been through this before. Last time it cost you our relationship. This time it's gonna get you kicked up the force or worse. You wanna use Dexter again? Isn't Masuka on your task force? Yes, he is. <laughs> I see that you have a minor assault record. And no alibi for yesterday morning. I'm sure my client didn't realize he needed one. I think you're a ticking time bomb. You ask me? You just needed a reason to take the law into your own hands. Make yourself comfortable, Mr. Olson. We're just getting started with you. 
Yep, we're gonna do it. Everybody out the building. This is so hot. Oh my gosh. Don't get this stick. All clear, everybody out. Like it never happened. If we don't get something soon, Lundy's gonna have to let him go. Which means Olsen's gonna kill again. Which means we lose the Bay Harbor Butcher case to the FBI. Which means we're all fucked. I just have to find a piece of evidence to make sure Lundy catches Olsen fair and square. Looks like I have a fan club. Membership of one. Uh, two guns. Why are you so interested in the Bay Harbor Butcher? Oh, that was just the last one. He got away. I, I should have never made it personal. This guy at work found out I was fucking his wife. He started to beat on her. The cops thought it was an accident, but it was me. <coughs> Why? Because he kills bad people like you? Those people because you wanted to. Yeah, but you inspired me. I didn't. With your principles. They're not my principles. Of course they are. As sure as I'm standing here, I don't need to kill you. <laughs> That's a relief. I mean, that need that comes from within that always drives me to this table. Where are they at? No, at the same train station? Like, what is this? But it is a body. The butcher is watching us. Tracking the investigation. Yeah, well, that wouldn't be too hard to do. Anybody seen Lundy? Over there, on the phone. He's talking to DC, I think. There's a memory. I always forget. You gonna pull a case from us? It was our killer. I'm afraid you're still stuck with me. Dexter, your new go-to guy. Dexter. Masuka. I can't stand him. If I hear one more titty joke, I'm afraid I'll punch him in the face. It's, it's an innocent hug. I was angry before when you tried to explain. This time I'll listen. A lot of stuff has been coming up for me in recovery. Things I never thought I'd deal with. The man who killed her in Naples. I thought maybe if I talked to him, I could find some kind of closure. Let me try to understand now. So you didn't have sex that night? No. No. Just when you broke up? Not that night. No, please. Leave. No, that hurts. They've been together going on, what, a year? And as soon as we broke up, not even 24 hours after we break up, you slept with someone else. If Rita did the same thing, it'd be wrong too. Like, now I wouldn't even say wrong if we're done and like for sure done. Then no, it's not wrong. Do you, you know? But if it was real love and it's been going on a year, going on two years, <sighs> That does hurt. It hurts hearing the Maybe truth sometimes. Maybe I am leaving the old me behind. Not him at her door again. Let's see. And then he goes and has sex with her again. Like, there's no way. And I know you guys are going to say, well, he doesn't even have feelings anyways. But he, ha he has to a little bit because he's falling for Rita. No, he's not that deep in love with Rita. We see that, obviously. We see that now. We see that now. It's a little iffy, yes, because I don't want him to treat Rita wrong. Rita was already done wrong, but Rita did see the red flags and she ignored him. With her baby daddy, Paul, dying, and knowing the truth that Dexter helped him get into jail and him dying. Like, she's seen the red flags. Her mom was trying to tell her, but of course that goes back to the mom was talking about Paul too, which she loved before, and this is another man she loved before. But it's just like when you when you're when you try to heal other people and you are not healed you're going to ignore those red flags you know she doesn't want to be let down again she wants this perfect man that dexter is playing but at the end day i feel like we all every single one of us have flaws has red flags can we change yes we can can we know right from wrong yes we can we can better ourselves we can do better you know we can make better decisions but yes i didn't want Rita to get hurt and she she is getting hurt Episode seven, but that goes back to Dexter too. He hasn't healed and he's trying to heal. And I see that the um, woman was trying to be there for him. And I was here for it too. Like, yeah, she's really helping Dexter. But then she goes kissing him and going above and beyond knowing she has a girl, knowing, knowing that he has a girlfriend. I don't, I don't agree with that. If you're going to help someone, help them genuinely. Not to go get to more, not to, not to make more of a mess in their life, you know? help them heal them and healing is not getting in bed with them it's not <laughs> now to relieve stress i get it but okay so let's talk about it let's talk about episode six put your opinions down below let's get to episode seven i told you guys i'm gonna knock them out so make sure you guys stay tuned